I felt like I did what I needed to do. I felt like I played fast. I felt like I, I knew what was going to happen before the play snapped. So I feel like I had an advantage this week, which really helped me out there. Did you feel a performance like that coming? I feel like I was prepared, so I feel like a performance like that could have happened, but I didn't know. I just knew I had to play fast and play smart. Shishan, can you um, talk about the process? Uh, you were three technique all of camp. Had settled in there, then because of Coop's injury, you switch over to end. Uh, when did you find out you were going to be playing end, and what did you, you think of it? Uh, I found out I was going to be playing end on Sunday, so I had I had the week to prepare, but I knew like I know the playbook, so I already knew what was going to happen. Like, I knew like what the defense end was doing because I played next to Coop, so I know what he's doing. So it gave me it gave me an advantage because with me knowing like what the person, what the guy next to me is doing, it helped me like transition so much easier. Jay Sean, you, I asked you this a bunch of times during camp and in spring. You were so excited to play three tech and to finally have a home, and then you get sent right back to the end of the week of the game. Like, were you disappointed? Did you? How did no. you? T- <laughs> I wasn't disappointed. The next man up. You can't be selfish. Like we're a family around here. Once a guy goes down, you need help. Like I'm here for you. You know, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think about myself. I thought about the team. You know, the team needed me to play defense end this week. I was going to play defense end. Do you do you still want to go back to three tech? Is that? Oh, I'm week? back at three tech this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did Jay Sean, Did they teach you both positions because you're capable of playing them both, or because there's some philosophy here where it's good to know all the positions of the line so that you know what the other linemen are doing? You want to. I, well, our philosophy here is like you want to know what the whole defense is doing. You want to know what the guys behind you are doing. You want to know what the guys behind them are doing. So, I think this gives. That's how we play other defense. Because we know we play off each other. We know where the next man's going to be. So we don't be in that in that place. So. Just like us, me learning the defense. I like I knew, like just because we learned. And this is what we do in the offense, and we learned the defense. So, by me knowing the whole defense, I already knew the position. So theoretically, you could play safety. Theoretically, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> no. I guess, yeah. What was, your, what was your favorite play? Was there a best play? One that stands out to you? Um, I think the sack, sack fumble. Right. I, it was, it caught, I, was like, I saw it, but then I was like, I'm like, I was, I was like right there. I'm just like, it, it felt good to get my first second in the game. So it looked like you were kind of in contain on that play, and yeah. then you saw him roll out. Uh, and just burst the ball. Yeah. yeah chasing, yeah. For, chasing Chase for it. What's, what's it like, <laughs> you know, being a counterpart with Chase? Because you know he's going to get yeah, Chase is gonna, and Chase, all that. Yeah, Chase is going to do Chase, and like, if they don't, if they don't block Chase, they got to worry about everybody else on the defensive line and the linebackers too, because the linebackers are getting back there too. So on that play, were you thinking I have to get there before Chase? No, I think I have to get to the ball. I <laughs> run to the ball. That's all. That's all in my head. Just run to the ball. Get to the ball. Coach Johnson said this week that Cincinnati, Cincinnati is like a Big Ten team. What, yeah. Why? Why is that? They play. They play downhill football. They run the ball, and that's what Big Ten teams do. So they're they're here to like come run the ball, and we have to play the run. Not a big, they're a pass team, but Big Ten, we run the ball in the Big Ten. That's what we have to worry about. So is that why another reason why it's important for you to get back inside? Yeah, I think so. It's, just, it's for me. I play in my natural position. You know, you got guys back. How different do you rush the passer from inside versus outside? Because I remember when you were talking a few months ago, like you, you think really highly of your inside pass rush, and I think you might have had maybe one sack last year from the edge. I think outside, you have to... Yeah, we have to worry about containment and rushing, like right, pretty much coming off the coming off the edge inside. You have the will to come inside or outside. So like, I can rush the passer, I can rush the golfers guard inside, or I can rush them outside. I have like more opportunities to use more moves. Throughout the offseason before Sunday, like, did you spend any time at defensive end? No. So like, when before Sunday, when was the last time that you had even lined up there? Uh, Rose Bowl. And why do you feel like you were prepared? Because you said that you, you, were, you felt prepared, but. Same time you I, I was like, I've been there before. You know, I just versus, I'm, I think I'm a versatile player, and I, I played in here before, so I know like what I have to do at defense. I wasn't like lost out there. I knew. What